friends my name is renuka welcome back to my channel and today we're going to finally finish this project the spread the double spread we are making and in between i tell you many tricks and trips how to draw them how to color them and how you can use the different kind of things rather than the mushroom how you can mix and match uh, your products there and sometimes it works sometimes it didn't but this is the kind of a long process I make three videos. We made three videos and I post all of them together one by one. So you can go through the step and process. So this is not only about the mushrooms. This is about how all about the concept of uh, journaling or making a art in your journal. Uh, and you're going to get uh, many tips and tricks um, and many fun things around it. So st stay together and let's start uh, what we left in the last video. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to finish this spread which is I put in this uh, journal and if you want to see that how I create this one and you can go ahead, I'm going to put the link how I create this but this is a kind of a fun book which I created from left or whichever I didn't use. I have so much paper lying down. Some of the project I started and it's way back, maybe 10 years back when I'm like learning something or starting something and then i love this color mostly i use hero art or distress ink sprays and then sometimes i just take a fully copy of them for sometimes i just took a inspiration from them and then last time we did this spread so um, i carry this book everywhere wherever i go i have a big bag and then i just draw a few of these and then i complete it so I complete this portion now I want to add something on it like maybe some inspiration quote or something so you can go ahead and buy this kind of stuff where you will already get the sticky stuff and you can put those here that is the one thing you can do for particularly this one what I like to do is I go ahead and write down the prompt in chat GPT and I get um, like uh, life and mushrooms prompt uh, after it just as a mushroom turn decay into a new life and we can transfer our challenges into the opportunities for growth so these are some stuff i just printed out a normal printer paper uh, this is the hp printer paper and hp i have same thing other otherwise if you don't want to um just you know write down or uh, stick those here you can use these kind of stances to put the stuff and I'll show you. So these are the stances for the journal writing. And you can put these and you can put the pencil marks and in between you can write something. So you can get a circular. And if you don't need a stencil for this kind of job, you can just draw with the pencil and you can do that also. I just want to show you options, how it works and how it's not. And then I particularly choose this bigger font. This is 16 uh and uh because my big it's quite a big spread whatever i have the stamps and other things it's not working on the spread so maybe for here i can write and here i will stick because these sprays are a little bit more metallic uh, you can see the shine in them so what happened when i'm trying to write or draw something sometimes it just didn't uh, replicate and then it's gonna turn this page like this so on this side also we can draw some continuous mushrooms or something else i don't know i didn't decide it yet and this one is the all these printouts from the free printables i gonna put that link below also or you you can ask if i forgot so how you can put uh, these first i'll show that so i just want okay if i want to put this one this is a quite a big one and i can take this so i gonna cut them in a very uh, small strips like that and somehow that got a little bit weird i didn't get the straight line so I'm going to cut it again. Oh, oh, I ruined it. Okay, so this might happen with you also. I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to choose this one now. And 
and then again so this is my one strip and this is the remaining of it i did the same in many other things i don't know if you saw the videos you might uh, recollect the memory so after that's what i want that i want to stick those here i will use the glue stick you can use glue also and then first of all i gonna uh, trim off just the excess now you have to see when you are doing this i just want the border all around these so how you want to do it first you can't you can put the full strip like this or you can just you know cut them in small small portions and then you can uh put them so i gonna just cut these i'm just taking uh a little bit of your reference how gonna they look if i cut them that way and then i will cut this one also and then you can put you can directly put on this you can took a black border around it and that will all the fun uh, before putting down if you are generally like me then you can see like this page is flower there is no connection of mushroom so i don't want to see any kind of mushroomy stuff out there a little bit is okay uh, but the, if the theme is going on then you know i will draw something uh, the flower like this i use the gouache i'm practicing gouache at the time so I can do something with the gouache or watercolor but little bit the flowery theme so you have to just remember that thing then uh, I like how they're gonna look on there but I want some kind of border around them now here I can put the black border around them and they're gonna pop just like that if you see or another option is I can try the other color paper maybe the green color paper or maybe the olive green color paper something which is kind of matching to it so mostly I use this 65 LB paper for all my crafting it is from recollections and I mostly bought them from Michaels uh, it is the cheapest way to get the colored nice paper and this is perfect for the layering as well as you can use them as a single also if you want. It is not that heavy but still it work. I have lots of them because I before that before this I was like too much making cards like I'm in card making too much. So I think this paper okay. let me grab one. I think this this will look good now you can see there is a half and half but I don't mind I can do the other side and this will look good rather than the black black gonna look very um uh what do you say very prominent there or you can use something like this a very muted and dull color this is also gonna look great or this so you have a different choice maybe whatever I like you may not like it's totally depend on you how you want to see the stuff how you want to do and it's totally on that so um i can choose this i don't know why but i loved it and then uh, i can just put the sentiment there i'm gonna just use the glue stick and then i'm gonna put that and then i will cut down um, all of it okay so just like that Now it's, this border is a little bit big. Maybe I'll trim it afterwards with the scissors. But the basic idea I want to show you what I want to do. And here I think I should trim this before putting on this. Because it's like too much white border. 
so i am doing little bit surgery here you have to do it before you sticking the stuff uh, and you can learn from my mistakes and i just want to okay now i can stick it again back on it maybe i'll use the back side of it and then i'm going to trim the excess because i didn't like that big border all around it i just want the small border a very thin one so i'm just using the scissors and i will do the same procedures for rest of it and then we can stick them we can add a little bit of color or with distress color them and then we can put and look this is like this is looking nice it's not very distracting the same time it is looking nice on this color so now i will put them here as i decided i just don't want to put behind that and it's okay i can able to manage the things here kind of putting the things where i want so that i'm not pushing anything and i can just close and see okay now i can just stick them there i just make little uh, them little bit wonky uh, why just because i like that way now you can use the sponge dauber or you can directly use if you have the small cubes like this and just distress little bit i gonna put oops okay so i'll put this distress dropper here i'm using a little bit a darker shade this is more long shade from the distress ink um and then i'm just putting a little bit and i try to make a little bit go in that white also so i will not get that full white kind of stuff going on there and you can see all the things are blending very well And then I will just put everything there. If you don't want to do this process, what you can do, you can just add a little bit of green on that paper or blue on that paper so that it will not look a full white. And then you can just use your marker to uh, place the stuff. So here I'm going down to up. So I'm going to stick first the this one. And then... I'll put the okay like a mushroom in the forest. I have to see the forest, the happiness in quite dark. We raise after the rain and growth often when no one is watching. Okay. So here it go. And you can see that just because of those colors we choose, it blends together so well. I don't want anything perfect here. I want a little bit wonky. So I didn't come the, uh, cut them perfectly. And th those <laughs> which are is the perfect, I just remove it and just make a little bit of wonky cuts on them. Not too much wonky, but still it's uh, not that perfect. And my glue is not working. So... I'm gonna put this here now again I showed you in the last one that I have few of the I made many mushrooms so not few I have many mushrooms with me and I can see that which mushroom is looking great on these and this is the same stamp we use here so we can you know put one of these here also it's totally depend how you want to see and things so I'm going to put one of these here because I really like how it turned out and it's going to match the theme of that same because it's like a same ink and then maybe I'll add a few bigger one behind it something like that and then some I can tuck some smaller so smaller mushrooms also something like that and whenever you're happy with whatever you are doing 
you can just go ahead and put that here <clears throat> you can use oh, this is just a rough paper here you can use anything you can use glue you can use glue stick see what you want to use and then put down I'm gonna put one here and this fancy blue stuff here I can tuck a little bit behind it maybe something like that and then I want this small guy also so I can put this in front of it maybe something like that so everything is pretty mushroomy here and then I can put this bigger one here but it gonna cover everything so I'm kind of seeing that which one should look good I can put this one although I didn't draw anything on it but I'm kind of finding the right one because those two sh two mushrooms are pretty good I don't want too big or too small something like that this small will work so that I can see behind what I did with those stamps so this is a kind of a mix uh, thing approach I took like I use the hand drawn stuff I draw directly on the paper I stamp few of them you can take a reference like I do here did here and uh, it's totally depend how you want and here also you can go in continuation and then here the mushrooms and then you can make a line all around here for this one I don't know what will I do this is I think the watercolor paper so maybe I'll try this I'm um, making the mushrooms with the watercolor uh, but I really like how it turned out and maybe here uh, we can uh, you know make some handwritten notes with it like in the shadow of where there are many flatters mushroom trees so too we can we find the strength in the darkness and the movement of the life but it's totally depend uh, i already put here so if you want to put here or not it's it's a personal choice i think i don't need here maybe i'm gonna use those stuff next time and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put these here itself you can put the last pocket here also so that you know it is there so i can just take it and start doing it just like I did this flower sometime I don't know how I start I just you know feel that way but yeah it turned out really nice I hope you enjoyed today's video and we complete this page and soon we will sh I will show you how you can make more pages now you can stop here or you can you know add more details or doodles on it it's totally depend on you how you want you can do a little bit pencils on this also like I have this I want to add little bit of color on them and then I can add the white pencil or I can just do really nice more shading and coloring on them uh, it's totally depend how you want to use your supplies most of the times I want to use everything and <laughs> yeah that is me and why I do that uh, because it sometimes it gives me idea that where these colors are working and where not i'm here using the watercolor pencils and you can see that i can add uh, really nice details with these uh, you can use the prisma colors ones um these ones are stadlers uh, but you can use those also here also i can add a little bit more so where to stop sometimes i stop at that moment and then maybe after a few days I come again and if I feel that that page is empty or that thing is empty I gonna add more but it's depend it's not happen every time sometimes I didn't see this book for months <laughs> that is also true because I'm just in you know I'm just in something else so this small bunch of mushrooms I gonna color them in the same sky blue kind of color and I really like to play with the mediums and I put all my pencils like this so I can grab them anytime. I didn't put, put them in the box or something like that. I don't know but this is me. It works for me and look this pencil is running on this so beautifully. Like I can add a little bit of yellow highlights to them. Not much but a little bit.
and this is so so beautiful i can add a little bit purple also here i can see how the purple goes oh wow it's it's, it's go like butter it's, it's going there on like a butter i don't i'm not struggling with anything i can draw with them so you know these kind of stuff we know now i know if i use the distress oxide spray distress sprays is i can use my pencil there and you know i can add little bit of color whatever i use everywhere so that it looks more cohesive um sometimes um that color is not popping that much like you can't uh, really differentiate but that makes a little bit of um, aura and that makes the drawing more cohesive that way so yeah i go that like that way and same time same way we can add a little bit color here also like this one okay and um these are the watercolor pencils okay so we can add a little bit of water to spread the color and you can see the vibrancy here okay now i want them to look like they belong to the same family here so i will add colors to all of them rather than putting them just like that and this is a very quick process like if you feel that if you are carrying your journal how can you use these pencils are so versatile <coughs> or any watercolor pencil or you can use the real brush uh, markers also those are so so good i can just pop a little bit color sometimes i like the vibrancy of the colors then i didn't dilute them can add a little bit kind of shading kind of here so <laughs> basically i use my supplies very fearlessly i don't mind what they gonna do with it i, I don't mind if something is like gonna messy i don't mind that because these are the things where you practice your skills where you practice the stuff you like you don't have to be perfect on these stuff and i think you should you should not bother about what's going on there look i'm just adding few shades maybe i need a little bit more or the or kind of brownish kind of shade or like this olive green color and then now here i'm just doing everything at a one time then i'm gonna take a brush and just gonna mix all of it and that that will give me really nice stuff and i will show you that how i gonna do again you can use this pencil for vibrancies also you can use like diluted with the water or you just didn't put the water and still you can use them now for this green after this green i want something yellow there um so you might think that that yellow will not look good with it but i want to kind of match and add a little bit of uh, you know vibrancy there a pop of color there and these are my mushrooms so who cares how mushrooms look so i'm gonna take a water i just um gonna put these and then i'm gonna just mix them and you can see the vibrancy now whenever you are doing these kind of stuff go always go with uh <clears throat> darker to lighter means didn't you can go like yellow to blue no sorry the green and if you go green to yellow now you're gonna miss a little bit yellow there because that color the pigment in that um is green is more powerful than yellow so you have to remember that stuff how you want sometimes you just want to just mix the colors sometimes you have to remember what you are doing it's totally depend on you how you want to do it and it's totally fine everyone has their own way like here i don't want to add much so i'm gonna just add kind of brushy strokes there and here i want to make so i'm gonna go with my brush fully like if you want to put some white on uh dots there that is also fine but now i'm quite happy but if you see here i don't have any color so there is another way to use this pencil you can just grab this color on the brush 
which will not match but it will give you that transparency kind of look when you don't want the high pigment you can do this also and then i am like i always put one of the brush two brushes here two three brushes here so that i can use with them and i'm really quite happy how it turned out maybe i can sprinkle some of the color there so that um that gonna look more vibrant and we can do that here for that i'm gonna choose one paper so i will not destroy what is beneath it and then i'm just running out of my colors i need more colors so i i rather than spritzing all of it what i will do i'm gonna cover a little bit of these okay i'll just flip this and then this one is hero art one tone and tone and then I, i'm just you know put, putting those flickers there whatever you say and that's it i'm gonna put a little bit here also I don't mind sometimes if they go on the drawing also but that's it i will not overdo it and let's call it finish because it, it is taking so much time to finish and let's call it finish and i hope you like it try something new mix match in your colors don't 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 forget to mix and match whatever supplies you have and just try new techniques maybe you get something new in that and you might like it you might not but still it's a fun to do the stuff so until I hope you had a fun and got inspired to do something on your page spreads. Uh, I love to see your comments. Do subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, watch more such things. If you have any queries or suggestion, leave in the comment. I love to read them. I will try to help as much as I can and uh, make something new and let me know what you want to see more from me. So bye and take care.